cannot find my phone, so I don't know if I was on time. It says 12.01, which on my tablet means 12 o'clock. Good morning. Natalie Korch from Mallorca, Kankorem. Oh my God, that's the best mirror ever. This is my coffee cup, a regular blue coffee cup. And before we go into the weekend, I was just uh, going to tell you a little um, pensamiento, some okay. thoughts about um, my dog Lulu and uh, my friend Soriana. Whenever I had poodles, they were always very, very thin and they had a great metabolism and they never put on any weight, contrary to me. And um, when I went on vacation the first time, I was very scared to leave my dog with my friend, friend Soriana because um, she would give her a lot of food, like I do, and then if I am a bad mom, a bad dog mom, it would turn out that the dog gets fat or bigger and uh, I was doing something wrong with the feeding of the dog. So I was very scared how the outcome would be. Because um, whenever my poodles were so thin, I have been to the veterinarians and they told me everything is good. So I trusted their opinion and their knowledge. But still I was afraid, how is that possible that they're so thin? So uh, Lulu went to my friend Soriana and uh, she took care of her. She went to a dog spa. She gave her duck pate. She gave her whatever pate. And I was like, oh my God. Now it's going to be proven that I'm a bad, bad dog mom and uh, she's going to give me a well-fed dog bag. And I was so relieved when I got her bag because there was nothing. This dog is simply thin. I'm very, very, I'm very jealous about her metabolism because I keep fighting. I have another two weeks to go before I lose my, my bed. Um, and... So if the veterinarian says everything is all good and you feed your dog like the way it should be and it doesn't get fatter, you can give your dog away very trustfully in other people's hands and they're going to do the same. I was so scared it's going to turn out that I'm not a good, a good dog ma. So this is um, not a story, it's just a, a thinking, a thought I had for, for this morning when I saw her again. Because I had been exposed all the time to the question, why is she so thin, what is wrong with her? And I'm like, nothing is wrong. So it came up to one point by not being annoyed by all these questions, that when I went to the hairdresser, I told the hairdresser, don't cut it too short so you cannot see the, this one little bone. And... Um, isn't that annoying? How often you have to do things for not being bothered by other people. Anyway, I wish you a wonderful weekend. Stay wonderful, stay beautiful. And uh, this is my cup. I need some hugs. Man, I'm tired of this pandemic situation. I want to be hugged and kissed and um, oh, get some wonderful embraces. So I embrace you um, digitally and... Take care. See you Monday. Goodbye.